Hello everyone. I'm going to uh, share some code how to write uh, the reactive form validation in Angular 17. So let's start uh, here. I have already created a uh, Angular validations project. So uh, see here is the architecture of the Angular 17. This one is the SRC folder and this one is the app folder. In the app folder, uh, these are the files that uh, I've created default. Uh, so <coughs> in the Angular 17, basically uh, few feature uh, introduced. I have already uh, covered in our the previous video. I have added in our description box so please go and see what's new in angular 17 what other feature also cover so let's come to the reactive form validation using angular 17 here see here is the uh, version that i have already installed angular 17 see, see here the angular cli 17 1.1 node 1 node uh, version 18.15.0 package manager this one and window os is my access the code See this one we also install here. So come <coughs> actually I have I already set up R1 so this will help us to uh, save your time. So I don't want to take your much time. So I have already prepared this one. See here is the app component. I have uh, I have uh, created the form as well. So see here the I have set up. I will explain R1 how to uh, write see the com app component here i have created <coughs> here so keep in mind when uh, once we uh, go to the formal lessons uh, we will need to import the angular form ng form form module reactive form module and <coughs> common module as well uh, in the angular 17 uh, this is basically angular 17 features and also this one as well basically all the component work as a standalone so we will need to import these all above files here and here. This will help us to uh, validate your form and create your form. See, I have created the model that name is the form and the property as the full name, username, email, password, etc. These are the methods I have created. On the submit, once form is submitted, the form object will come here and you can uh you can use the, your form data as per your uh actual needed you can call the services to post the data in the database these all uh all uh, i have covered in the next video so please comment if you need uh the reset button basically <laughs> used for the reset the form now come to the html See here, I have already created the bootstrap form. So uh, you can uh, use the bootstrap as well in Angular 17. So there are two methods. You can install the CLI command. I will say us in the comment box the CLI command for the bootstrap. Also, rather simply, you can uh, use in the index.html file this URL. I will say it in uh, all the detail in the description box the comment box as well so you can also i will also share the github code link so you can download and see everything that's i created comes to the uh, form see here is the form i have uh, created the name of the uh, form is a form and ng form uh, basically i have created the alias of the form so see here and here is the submit button submit action basically uh, submit action the if form is valid the submit button is hit uh, you can see here uh, are the submit actions once all the validation is passed pass, then submit button will be here otherwise they will display the message on the form these are the basically uh, the the form group that i have created see first one is the full name the full name is the input type so text name is equal to full name and the directory ng model i have used to bind the form dot full name that is uh, that is the 
form dot pool name here that's very similar to i have a uh, bind the username email password and accept terms as well see uh, here also added the required validations and the alias of the text with the full name uh, the name of the alias i have used to uh, full name dot error if any error will come they will display the message see here i have added the div that will help us to uh, display the message if any error on this field see if a, a full name dot error is required that will be display this message and, and very similar for the other one the username i type is equal to tax class this bootstrap class name is equal to username directory and new model use for by uh, form dot username required basically used for the required validations and mean length and max length as per you you can define the 6 to 20 or anything you want i have created alias for the username this uh, and also uh, use the ng class directory to uh, display the message see here i have created uh, the div display the message this one basically the required message once error required this message will display once mean length is not uh, as per you if suppose you put the five length that will be message at least character six if you uh, exceed the limit 20 that means you, you type the 25 this message will display these are the uh, field that i have already created you see here the type is called email and and bind the value ng model uh, form dot email required email type is equal to email and alias of the email this one i have bind this one and also these div will display as per uh, once email is required other one if image is not valid this message will be display on the form see here is the password type validation password validations i have already added here the required mean length max max length as per you can change and name is equal to password and created alias the form alias of this text for ng model so see, see here password dot error ng class i have added uh, here i have added the three field uh, basically once form uh, once field is required message will be displayed here and if mean length and max length will be display once uh, mean length and max length is not in between come in the last i have added the checkbox for the accept terms the accept form that accept terms i have <coughs> bind with the ng model active so see i this one the required name of the alias i have created to bind with the ng class directory here is the label that will be displayed with the checkbox and this one will be the basically the message it wants terms is not <coughs> checked this one basically the uh, button that i have used the submit button once perform on this register button the form submitted with the submit method see here it created the submit method once click on the submit button register the form the submit uh, submit action will be executed with the all the value here you can use your come in the last this one uh, the button use for the button type on the reset button and once perform on click on the reset the method reset will be called and uh, the reset basically reset all the form so see uh, what the output will be here run the form and this out Is taking some time, so please take patience. Application is building right now.
now application is built and <coughs> load the form here you can see here is the form that have the full name username email password and terms and condition button here is the register button and reset button so uh, click on the register the full name is required once uh, type the name <coughs> see the the message disappear here <coughs> once i uh, type the name of this it's uh, saying uh, username must be at least six character see here and type the email of anil dot sing at the rate one c uh, gmail dot com once uh, at the password password must be at least six character so I have added see here the terms once uh, click on the submit button the submit button not fire actually uh, here is required to terms check once I click on the checkbox the register action button will if I see the output I have uh, inspect come to the console see here is the form that i have log uh, in the console log see here is the form data i have logged the console log that will be display that's uh, see once i click this one the value i have come and you can use this value as per your need once we need to reset the form click on the reset the valuable form click on the the all message disable once click on the reset this form will reset here i hope uh, you learn about this so uh, i will share this code with you uh, uh, you can download the github so thanks for watching this video i hope uh, you got this point uh, if any uh, query please uh, add in the comment box and also requesting to subscribe my channels and hit the like button it will encourage us to prepare the other video as well so uh, thanks for the watching thank you